I hope nobody's making a drinking game out of this because uh, you'd be dead. <laughs> Drink every time he says TRS. Drink twice for TRRS. All right, I'm settling this once and for all. <laughs> Listen, I love that so many of you reach out to me, DMs on Facebook and Instagram. You send me emails, you ask me questions, comments, but 90% of them are the exact same question, which is which cable do I use when I'm trying to plug in this kind of an on-camera 3.5 millimeter microphone, what type of cable do I use to get it to my camera, to get it to my portable audio recorder, to get it to my smartphone, to get it to my computer? It doesn't work. There's background noise. There's extra hiss. The microphone's not functioning at all. This is really, really simple, and I have to keep typing out the exact same answer to every single person, sometimes dozens of times a week, so I'm gonna solve it right here forever, and then I can just send the link to this video to anybody who asks. By the way, I'm Brian Miller. Thanks so much for stopping by Audio for Content Creators, where we help you sound better and level up for all your content creation needs. The first and most important thing you need to understand about these 3.5 millimeter cables and how to plug in mics to the capture source is there are two types, TRS and TRRS. There's more than two types, but it doesn't matter. There's TRS and TRRS. TRS stands for tip ring sleeve. TRRS stands for tip ring ring sleeve. The most important thing that you need to know about these is that a TRS is used for essentially one way audio only. So that's what you're gonna use if you're going into a portable audio recorder or a camera where what you're plugging into is not meant to go in two different directions. TRRS is what you use to plug into smartphones, tablets, computers, because those jacks can be used to plug a microphone in, but they can also be used to plug headphones to get audio out. That's a TRRS port. And so you need a TRRS cable for those. Tip ring sleeve, TRS, that goes to portable audio recorders and cameras. Tip ring ring sleeve, TRRS, goes to smartphones, tablets, computers. Got it? Got it. So let's start with an easy example, something standard like the Movo VXR10, which is just a regular on-camera budget shotgun mic. This original VXR10 comes with, they came with a couple of different cables, but the point is it's a TRS port in the microphone itself. So here is the TRS to TRS cable. This is a standard cable, and you would use this to plug into a portable audio recorder or a camera. And so if I turn on my Tascam DR05X right now, and this is plugged in, all I have to do is make sure my levels are good, make sure my mic power is on, because this doesn't have any power of its own, so mic power has to be on. And then, three, two, one, and now you're hearing the VXR10 plugged directly into the Tascam DR05X. You could also do this to a camera. It is as simple as that. But you could use an alternative cable for the VXR10, which is a TRS, which goes into the microphone, to a TRRS, which would go into a smartphone. So let's say that I wanted to plug this into my smartphone. So TRS from the microphone, TRRS into the smartphone, and if I scroll over, I'm literally just doing this in real time right now. Forget editing, we'll just do it in real time. If I plug this in now, three, two, one. I'm now recording the VXR10 via TRS to TRRS being captured by the Smart Recorder app in my smartphone, which is a free app. And so that is the simplest way to do that. Now suppose you actually wanted to put one of these small on-camera shotgun mics onto a boom stand like I've taught how to do in videos like this one so you can actually put it out of frame above the camera and get a boom and, and then that way you get the microphone much closer to you because this the mic that's on this camera right now which now you're hearing is actually a $250 mic it's the Rode VideoMic NTG but because it's five feet away from me it sounds really uh, well it sounds far away and it sounds kind of hissy and all that stuff so perhaps you would want to move a mic like that or a mic like this. I'm gonna smack myself in the face with this cable. Suppose you wanted to put it on a boom stand and then you would raise this up and put it just out of frame. Well, this isn't gonna reach all the way back to the camera or all the way to a portable audio recorder. So what you need is an extension cable of some kind. And you have two options here. Either you can take a female TRS that goes all the way to a male TRS. Alternatively, 
you could decide you don't want to use an extension cable. You simply want to use a long TRS cable. So this is a long TRS to TRS cable. We don't need to use any extension cables in this case. I'm going to plug the, they're both TRS, plug that side in to here, run this all the way back to the camera or to a portable audio recorder, plug in this side, make sure mic power is on, and then three, two, one. And now you're hearing the VXR10 plugged in directly with a single cable. Now some new microphones, these on-camera types, actually have a TRRS port built into them. If you get a microphone like this, the VXR10 Pro, which is relatively new compared to the older VXR10, you'll notice that it has a TRRS port. And so even though typically you would expect a TRS to come out of a microphone, some of these have a TRRS and you need to know that, you need to check. This is a TRRS. This is one of the cables it comes with, which goes into uh, a standard TRS, in which case you could plug this in to TRS goes into what? Audio recorder or a camera. You can make sure the mic power is on, hit record, and three, two, one. Now you're hearing the Mobo VXR10 Pro via the TRRS cable into the TRS cable, and it works just like that. And similarly, you could grab a TRRS cable into a TRRS cable and plug that in to a smartphone just like we did earlier. You just need to know that this is TRRS and a smartphone is TRRS. And so you would use that cable, which I don't have sitting here with me, to plug into a smartphone, tablet, or computer. And if you wanted to use this as an extension cable, it's really no different. You just need to know what's going in and what's going out. So let's say that you were using this, which has a TRRS going into a TRS. Well, what do we need? We need that female TRS for the extension, okay, TRS, because this is TRS. I hope nobody's making a drinking game out of this because uh, you'd be dead. Now we have TRRS going into TRS, a female TRS, extension into TRS, which we can plug into what? A portable audio recorder or a camera. And then I could make sure mic power is on and three, two, one. Now we are recording the Movo VXR10 Pro via the extension cable into the Tascam DR05X and everything works perfectly. And that's the point. This is not hard. You just need to know what type of connection goes into what type of place and you need to know what your device requires. The smartphone requires TRRS, a portable audio recorder requires TRS, your camera requires TRS. Some microphones today use TRRS, most of them use TRS. You simply need to know what's going in, what's going out, and then make the appropriate connection. You also need to remember that most of these budget microphones require mic power, either from your audio recorder or from your camera. And that's the whole thing. Was this helpful? If this completely cleared up an otherwise confusing issue for you, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come back anytime to sound better and level up. And we'll, <laughs> that was so lame. And we'll see you soon. Oh, by the way, if you really enjoyed this instruction and you want to just master your audio, I have a course. It's called Audio 101 for Content Creators. It will solve all of your problems. Just go into the comments or description and go check that out. I promise it will be worth the money you spend. It's a really good course.